Hey guys. Fun type season 2 episode 10 just aired yesterday and that was a freaking drama. Who would have thought that this season would be like this, unless you have read the novel. Anyway, there were quite differences between the novel and the series and I'd like to discuss it with you. There were also sudden scenes that were not explained well enough in the series so I included it in here. Before anything else, this video is full of spoilers based on the novel and if you don't want to be spoiled, you can still watch this right after the airing of episode 11 next week. Anyway, if you live in a different country and some BL series are not available to yours, you can use ExpressVPN to watch those restricted series. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount and 3 months free if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm actually a bit shocked and surprised to see that Fiat in the series wasn't exactly like in the novel. Before I explain to you why Fiat is different from his novel counterpart, I will tell you some fun facts about the parking scene first. Just like what I have mentioned on my previous video, the personnel who saw the incident was a security guard from the hospital and not Dr. Kunpel. To be honest, I kinda like the series version more because of the chosen character although I got confused on how the doctor managed to be in the same place too. Anyway, that was only a minor complaint but overall, the parking scene in the series was lighter compared to the novel. Type actually punched Thun right into his face to knock his senses back but there was no violence shown in the series. I guess it was to show off their character development through simple gestures. The words that were written in the novel was also more harsh. Going back to the topic, Fiat was not actually afraid of Thun in the novel, or simply saying that he did not want to show it on his rival. Fiat even challenged Thun to win over Type and that made Thun so much furious to Fiat. That move of Fiat made Type so angry hence the revenge of Type to the kid. If there's one thing that I already anticipated in this episode, it was the scene when Thun and Type argued in their apartment. I wasn't actually hoping for that scene to happen but I guess it's inevitable. The execution was actually great although it was a bit less dramatic than the novel. What's good in the series is that, it was not a toxic scene unlike what happened in the novel. When Type went back to their apartment, it was to explain everything what happened in the parking lot. Type thought that Thon had calmed down already but he was wrong. Thon was so much devastated after the parking scene. He drank a lot of alcohol and even threw away all the food he prepared for his surprise to type. When Thun and Type fought in their apartment, it was more chaotic. Thun tried to stop Type from leaving their apartment. Thun even forced himself like biting a part of Type's body. Luckily, it wasn't shown in the series because I would really freak out if they did. What's the same between the novel and the series? Thun misunderstood Type when the latter said that the two of them should take a break. Type wasn't actually breaking up with him but only to cool things down. Type thought that if the two of them would be away for a while, the two of them could think better than their current mindsets. One of the biggest change between the novel and the series was how the revenge of Type was executed. When Type left their apartment, he actually went to Techno and Kla's house. Kla and Type could not get along with each other because Type knew how Techno and Kla's relationship began. When Type knew that Fiat was still bothering Thun, he asked for the help of Kla for his own plan. Unlike in the series, it was Kla who seduced Fiat and not Sir. It was an obvious choice because his character fit so well for that plan. At that time, Fiat was only irritated on his situation and he was not actually making a drama unlike what he did in the series. When Fiat already fell for the trap of Kla, the former invited Fiat to check into some hotel. Type's revenge in the series was actually better than what it was in the novel. In the book, Type was just straight harsh with his words and even with his acts. 
Type even stepped on the injured leg of Fiat to make him suffer but luckily, Type did not show that kind of violence in the series. Don't get me wrong. I don't like Fiat and his wrongdoings but I can't stand seeing a person being tortured like that. Although Type was not a forgiving person in nature, he did the right thing in the series. From then, all Leo and Fiat scenes from the previous episodes are now making sense. There are quite a lot of chapters left in the novel if we compare it in the series but looking how fast paced the scenes, I think there would be other scenes from the book that will be omitted. I'm not going to tell you the detailed scenes like what I did in the episode 10 before but I might do another part for that. For now, I'm just going to explain what could happen in the episode 11 based on the teaser shown from this week's episode. The last scene that was shown in the episode 10 was when Type was about to open the door of their apartment but suddenly, he got a call from someone and he was shocked based on his facial expressions. The person who called to him on that day was his mother. Type's mother informed him that his father got into an accident and injured his legs. When he heard that news. Type immediately went back to his hometown without even informing Thand regarding that matter. In the novel, Type was in Champ's house when that scene happened. Thand already had the courage to talk with Type on that day and immediately went to Champ's house. But he was unlucky that he couldn't reach Type in time. When Thand learned the information from Champ, he called Type and said that he should also go with him too. Type refused and said that Thand has his job in Bangkok and should not leave it. Type said to Thon that the latter should wait for him until he gets back. These scenes were based in the novel and I'm not sure if they will still adapt it in the series. They could change the scenes into a more dramatic one but who knows? The first scene in the preview for episode 11 was when Thon accidentally broke a bowl and got a cut from it. We also heard Thon saying that, even without Type, he could live alone just fine. In the novel, when Type left Thon and went back to his hometown, Thon lived alone on their apartment for about two weeks, but Thon could not live without him. Thon even said in the novel that he could not even cook for his own food. Thon also said that he no longer felt at home with their own apartment because Type was not with him. After spending two weeks alone, he went back to his parents' home. Another devastated scene from the preview was when Type was crying and even cursed Thon out of nowhere. If they would follow the novel. The reason why Type became so much emotional was when he called Thon while he was at the beach. In the novel, Type was looking at the sunset from their hometown and he saw a lot of couples around him. Type whispered on his own that he already misses Thon a lot. Type decided to call Thon because of that. When Thon answered the call, Type said that he misses him. But the only reply he got from Thon was, that's all. Type got so mad because of that. He threw away his phone and cried a lot because he thought Thon also misses him. Type became enraged and all he felt was hatred to Thon. Don't worry, Type still picked up his phone after he threw it away. What really happens is, Type misunderstood the reply of Thon on the phone. Thon was actually waiting for Type to call. When he answered it, he got excited and dumbfounded. Right after the call of Type, Thon immediately packed his things to go to Type's hometown too. The spoilers in this video actually took a lot of chapters that's why I decided to just create a summary out of it. It would take forever if I decided to do it all. What are your thoughts for the episode 10? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.